The Gospel of John is packed with theological richness. And I am super glad to share a little bit of it with you today. So uh, I'm Amy from the Lakes, and we're taking a look at John chapter 1. And John, in his first 18 verses of his gospel, establishes both the deity and humanity of Jesus. Let's take a look. So starting off in verse 1, you might probably be familiar with this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Right there, he just lays it out there, Jesus being the Word. And he is stating that Jesus is fully God. Not only was he there since before the beginning of time, he is equal with God. He is God. And then he also wraps it up in this beginning opening section with verse 18 saying, uh, No one has seen God, but God, the one and only, who is at the Father's side, has made him known. God, the one and only, that is Jesus Christ he's referring to there, has made him known. John, in these opening statements of his gospel, wants it to be unmistakably clear that Jesus Christ is fully God. And he also wants it to be clear that he's fully man. And so in verse 14, he says this, The word became flesh. And made his dwelling among us. Yes, we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Um, he became, so in this in this verse, the word became flesh. John wants us to recognize that Jesus took on flesh, that he existed before, but then became human. He took on flesh. Um, and he also, this word flesh that he uses here is a very strong word that emphasizes the reality of Jesus's humanity. So what does this mean for us? Why is this important that Jesus was both fully God and fully human? Well, John puts it this way, that Jesus, is, Jesus, by his death and resurrection, has secured a place for us, you and I, in God's kingdom. And this is what it looks like. In verse 12, he says, Yet to all who receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Because Jesus was fully God, fully man, by his death and resurrection, we get to be have a place in his kingdom if we so choose. If we uh, give our lives and our allegiance to him, he has offered us freedom from sin and from death and the very right to be called children of God. It is amazing and it is accomplished by Jesus' death and resurrection because he is both God and because he took on humanity. Mm -hmm.